Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I'm going to be doing three unboxings today because I forgot to do my November boxy charm and then I actually just got in the other day December and they sent me two boxes. One is really big so I'm thinking that's the premium one. Maybe I'm so excited and then also the base box. So if you are new, please subscribe. I love affordable beauty hauls, shop with me. So if you guys also want to sign up for Boxy Charm, I do have an affiliate link with them. It is in my description box. And if you guys do sign up with that code, thank you so much. It's actually going to start with November's box and go oldest to newest. So you guys probably have already seen November unboxing. So this might not be like anything new to you but it's still a surprise for me and I thought it would still be fun to do anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach my hand in and pick stuff out. Is this a Belle and Argent Reframing Clear Brow Gel? That's fun. I mean, you can't go wrong with the clear brow gel these days. I'm always using one to fix up my eyebrows, especially after they're done. I like to kind of fluff them up a little bit. So it's just, I have never heard of this brand, never heard of this brand before, but hopefully we will see something afterwards on the pamphlet about it. So this is another brand I have not heard of, Sophia and Mabel. It's the Lip Slick Fruit Lip Oil. I really like lip oils. Actually, what I've been doing recently is, and I did it today, so the only thing I'm wearing today, I just did skincare and I was being super lazy. I have to say what I've been doing is I've been putting on a deeper pink or brownie lip liner and then just going over that with a lip gloss or a lip oil. And it is so pretty if you want something a little bit more minimal, but you still want your lips to look a little bit full. The color Yuzu. Ooh, this is really pretty. Anything like nude baby pink, I'm automatically like, yes. I get excited when it's not like a red color. I'm sorry. I'm such a nude pink girl so this looks really nice i'm sure it's not going to be like super opaque or anything but yeah it looks more like a clear gloss but this is going to be so nice for just like i said how i was doing with just the lip liner and then throwing this on top oh my goodness you guys this is really exciting this is amina which is the brand that you always see at or we always see at tj maxx and marshall's the a m n h they have the scrubs the body butters which i I don't like the body butters they're too greasy but i really like the scrubs and this is actually a lip scrub oh my gosh and it's macaroon scented it's made in the usa it's shea butter shea butter mango butter coconut oil sugar flavor oil mica and sugar sprinkles Let's see what this smells like oh my gosh it smells so stinking fab Mm, it's so sweet. It has like a swirl of pink and purple and the packaging is so fun with little macaroons. I am a lip scrub freak. I have like 10 of them. I just think they are so fun. Like I love lip scrubs and they just make your lips feel so nice before you put on any sort of like balm or anything. So this is so fun. I can't wait to try this. It smells fabulous. Are we on product number four? I think so. This one feels, whatever this is, feels big. Oh, one of these, one of these. This is a mini heat brush in, by the brand Soleil. So basically, this is like one of those little brushes that heats up and you brush through your hair and it helps to like, helps like straighten your hair. I can actually see this being a good gift for someone. So if you get BoxyCharm, I can, I can give this as like a little Christmas gift. So I will show you guys what it looks like. Does anyone like use these and really like them? So you just turn it on and then the heat comes through, I guess, this little area over here and the bristles and then you just brush. I mean, that is really cool. We love a two-in-one brushing and straightening at the same time. The last product in the November box is, it is Ofra, you guys. First look, well, not really first look, but it is the Midi Palette Face It and it says sculpt warm and highlight let's open this up oh, wow this is pretty it looks like we have two bronzers san fran and pacifica and then a really pretty highlighter in the middle rodeo drive which is like such a classic ofra shade 
um, and I've heard so many people talk about Rodeo Drive. Pretty, I really like that. So that is the November box. I thought it was a good one. The values of everything. So the Ofra palette is $35. The Soleil heat brush is $150. Okay, that's a little bit insane. The Sophia and Mabel lip fruit oil is $22. The Amina lip scrub is $18 retail. Does anyone else feel like they jack up these retail prices? The reframing brow gel is $19. Okay, so moving on to December. I'm gonna start out with the base box and then move on to this, I think, premium. Okay, let's get into it. First up, we have La Russe. La Russe. This is a special edition three-piece eye brush set. Okay, cool. I'm hoping there might be some fun holiday things in here. So, oh, here are the three brushes. We have a crease brush with this pretty like studded handle. Okay, crease brush. Then we have an eye brush. I feel like this would be good for my sister because she doesn't, so told me she doesn't have any eye brushes. So we have this brush. We have this little like baby pencil brush, which these are always fun. So again, fun for yourself or fun for gifting. Um, these are really nice. I love the handles, like how they have a nice grip to them. So here's this cute little brush set from La Russe. Okay, this brand we always see, Real Her. It's the Set Your Goal Blurring Veil. I'm assuming this is a powder. It says, what does it say? It really doesn't say anything. Set your makeup. Okay, so it's not completely like a white, white powder. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. Like those HD kind of powders. It has a little bit of yellow to it. I am always down to try like a new blurring powder. So yeah, blurring veil. This looks really good. We'll have to give that a try. I, I will, like, I wanna blur everything. Blur the pores, like, I have really, I've been noticing and I literally like, I am so on point with my skincare, my chemical exfoliation, but I have like so much texture like right here on my forehead. Um, it's probably like where I have the most texture and it's like driving me crazy. So I feel like I always have to like blur that area. On to the next product, we have Murad. This is the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Oh my gosh, I love eye serums. Like I always want my under eye to be moisturized like there is no reason for the under eye to not be moisturized because we have all these amazing eye creams and we always especially get them in boxy charm it helps improve the look of lines wrinkles and loss of firmness smooths while being gentle it also has that anti-aging property in the formula which is really nice I've talked about this before but i am much more a fan of retinaldehydes which is more effective than retinols and it doesn't make your skin peel like a Trent Noin does. So I am a big fan of Brianna Stanko, her skincare videos. Um, she, I like always follow her suggestions. She has like a skincare website and she does a lot of like medical grade skincare routines and stuff. So that's like kind of the train that I'm on. So you guys can look it up on her videos, but like how much better retinaldehyde is than retinols just kind of FYI. So there it is. I'll still definitely use this. This is the Seraphine, Seraphine Botanicals is the Persimmon and Plump Glass Finish Lip Glaze. Okay, it has, it's cruelty free and vegan with, which you guys know if you watch my Dollar Tree haul, I was talking about that whole vegan thing with like vegan and non-vegan makeup. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, that is super beautiful. It's like, pink and shimmery. I love that. Oh, I'm into this. Does this smell? Oh, it smells really good. It smells like fall. That must be the persimmon. I will definitely be using this. It's a lip treatment and gloss hybrid that gives you a wet vinyl glass like shine without the stickiness or heaviness. It has castor oil, rice bran oil, and plant derived liquid resin. It plumps, protects, and it has star fruit, for skin suppleness. Wow, this is a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in here. And this is the shade Wet Skin. This is really pretty. It's like a pink with like a little bit of gold-ish kind of shimmer to it. So love that. Seraphine Botanicals. Yeah, I will be using that. Lastly, what are you? Oh, you guys, we have Dominique. 
Cosmetics, I think, yeah, Dominique, Unconditional Palette by Chris and Dominique. I love her videos and her line is so good. She always has really good palettes and I've been able to try stuff from her line just from getting BoxyCharm. That's like the way I was able to try her stuff. So it's really exciting. Oh my gosh, the packaging is beautiful. I think she did a rebrand if I'm not mistaken. This is a gorgeous. I don't have any palettes that look like this. It's like this pretty acrylic case. I love that. Way to go, Dominique. Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow. I love these colors. Look at that chunky monkey. This is like the chunkiest glitter I have ever seen. Holy cow. A moment right there. I love all these colors. Oh, and that one is her son, Jaden. That's really sweet. I'm very excited to try this. I think her shadows are so good. And I think she did such a nice job on this like little palette. How cute is this? Okay, that is awesome. So that was a that was a great box. The Domini Cosmetics palette. You guys, it's only $28. That's a great price. Um, and then it says the Murad Eye Serum. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can actually use that on your eyelids, which is really nice. $89. La Russe eye brush set was $38. It's exclusive to BoxyCharm. Real Her powder. And it's always oh, towel free. Yay, that's so exciting. And it's completely flashback. Okay, that's awesome. $25. I'm so excited for that. And then the Seraphine Persimmon glass that I was loving is $24. Little retail value of this box is $204. And I thought this box was so really impressive. I liked everything they had in here. And this box is c 221 ba Good stuff, you guys. Okay, let's move on to the big mama jama. Wow. Boxy Charm Lux. What do we have first? Oh my gosh, this brand. Okay. Dew of the Gods. The Weekend Glow Challenge. Look how cool their packaging is. I have several things from BoxyCharm from this brand. For the next two days, you're the main character and you're in control. We formulated two lace spun sheet masks to restore your skin's bounce and moisture barrier. And it says there's one for Saturday and then there's one for Sunday. This is so cute. The Weekend Glow Challenge. I love that. That is so unique. I love when brands do things like this that are like, different we have oh my gosh you guys i got my first product from herbivore this is the cloud jelly this stuff is expensive at sephora it has vegan collagen and tremello which i believe is a medicinal mushroom so it says dreamy drops for youthful looking hydrated skin it's plush it's a plush serum it helps improve fine lines the Tremella Mushroom is a superfood powerhouse and helps skin retain moisture. It has strawberry extract, which is rich in vitamin C, and it says you can use it morning and night. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I like kind of want to use this right now, but I already did my skincare. Okay, let's look, look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've always wanted to try one of their products before. Next product. This is Dear Midnight. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand before, have you guys? It says it's a set to last setting spray. Very cool. cool. I actually just used up my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I have to like find out more about this brand. Look how cute this bottle is, like with all the little stars. Oh. <gasps> This is a good one. Anastasia BH. This is the Off to Costa Rica face palette. I had never heard of this before. It's an all-in-one face palette with a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. I haven't had a product from Anastasia, like a new product from them in, I can't even tell you guys, like I have not purchased anything from this brand in, I think it's been years. Look how pretty. Oh, wow. I think that highlighter is definitely too deep for me, but the blush and the bronzer I can definitely use. That is so nice. Just swatch the blush. It feels nice. Ooh, they're very smooth. 
very smooth powders. Cute. I had no idea that this was like a new product. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. It's the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Holy cow, I have heard so many good things about this. Wait, I am so excited right now. Like, oh my gosh, okay. I cannot wait to use this. You guys, this is so awesome. This is so exciting. So this is like a clear brow gel to like set your brows or you really use it to like make them that like fluffed up look, which I've talked about so many times on my channel. Why can't I open this? There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. I have to smell everything. Is anyone else like that? I have to smell it. Okay. It's just like it's literally clear. So there's not much to see. Ooh, like seeing if it shakes. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I've like always wanted to try this. Yay. Wow. Two Anastasia products. Okay. My gosh, you guys. Fenty Beauty. I think this is my first time seeing Fenty Beauty in a boxy charm. So this is the Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. This is such a good box. Okay, let's open this up. I love these Lux boxes. I really do. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. Look at that. Wow. This is so... I've never tried this before. It's a long wear fluid lip color it says to shake what else does it say one stroke intensity long wear matte finish so i guess it's like her liquid lipstick and a precise wand i like this color too oh wow look at that okay this is so fun i have i think i have two products from fenty i have the lip gloss and i have the bronzer and that is it so i have always wanted to try more stuff from her so yay okay next i think there's two more products oh my gosh you guys these are like all things that i've been wanting to try this is the one size which is patrick star's makeup brand you guys i'm sure have heard of him from youtube i actually have his concealer this is the secure the blur makeup magnet primer i feel like i've also heard people saying that this is so good i'm gonna have to try all these products out with you guys on camera because there's just so many things to try this is what the bottle looks like i have a sunscreen that looks exactly like this bottle it says it's ultra blurring, pore refining. Oh no, why? It has niacinamide. Oh, my heart just like sunk. I can't use that ingredient because it breaks me out. I'm like so sad. It says it mattifies and evens out the skin texture as it grips for flawless application and advanced wear. I, I'm literally like, can we stop like brands, please? Like not everything needs to have niacinamide in it. Like can we pick a different ingredient? Sincerely me <laughs> like oh i'm so sad okay but anyways i have heard really good things about it despite that fact my own uh personal issues um but that is such a cool like thing to be in this box hopefully uh, possibly an eyeshadow palette it looks like an eyeshadow palette this is oh my gosh it's mally i feel like i haven't seen anything from mally in a while best dress lids neutrals and bold matte and shimmer eyeshadows oh this looks pretty okay wait let's open it let's open it Ooh, these are nice colors it kind of reminds me of like a Lorac situation oh my gosh this was a really really good luxe box have you guys ever got the luxe box um please let me know because i think they're amazing so let's check it out and by the way my box is c2212 403-LX. I'm like sitting back in my chair. So the Herbivore Jelly Serum is $48 and it's a hyaluronic acid alternative. The Anastasia Face Palette is $58. The Mali Beauty Eyeshadow Palette is $45. The One Size Secure the Blur Primer is $30. Anastasia Brow Freeze is $23. The Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint is 26. The Dear Midnight, it's a new launch, alcohol free setting spray, $30. And the Dew of the Gods, the Weekend Glow 
mask set. It's a new launch and that is $40. Total retail of this box is an even $300. So I just keep forgetting this that the Lux box is every three months and it is $57.99, eight full size beauty and lifestyle items. So there you go, you guys. It's a really, really great price for everything that you get inside of here. I mean, I think that's definitely worth it and I am very impressed uh, by everything we got. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10 from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and seeing what came inside all of my boxy charms. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys were most excited about. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.